Thank you to Rocket Money and HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction, peeps. How's it going there, citizens of the reject nation? Or should I say citizens of the reject nation? It's your boy John here once again. Doing more Sandlers, baby. We've been working through some of the classics. Now we're going to hop forward about 10 years in time to the mid-2000s. Today we're going to watch Click, a movie I know little to nothing about other than it maybe shares a premise with a Goosebumps episode I saw at one point in time. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, I'm enjoying this, man. Like, you know, I, like I said, how have you missed all these movies? We weren't an Adam Sandler house growing up. We weren't a Jim Carrey house either. So that's afforded me this opportunity to catch up on some of these. And I got to say, for uh, whatever versions I might have had in the past, I'm quite enjoying this now. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like for going back in time or, or getting timey-wimey at all as I understand this movie might. And as always, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime one of these videos comes your way. Also, big thank you to the folks over at Prepper for chopping down these highlights, helping us out on that end. It's a big task and we appreciate them for it. Also, if you want to get the complete click experience in the comfort of your own home where you can click your own remote and actually probably mess it up because you have to sync it up with your own copy. But anyway, you can do that over at Patreon.com slash the real rejects. We also have a bunch of other shows and movies with reaction highlights and watch alongs included that Greg and I cover over there. It's a good time. It's a blast. Come check it out. Teas like these are available at rejectnationshop.com. It's one of the best ways to support the channel. And now, without further ado, let's watch the shoe movie. Click. <laughs> Howard the Duck. Sandler also loves his 80s hits. Twinkies helped to pay for this. Architectural graphics, huh? Is that a subtle detail of his character? Oh, no. Whoa! <laughs> what was going on there? <laughs> How can I sleep oh, with two Twinkies? She's so cute. Which one of these turns on the TV? Oh my god, I had a, we had a garage clicker just like that at the old place. So many things to click. <laughs> Honey, I think you just opened the garage. The Kate Beckinsale? <laughs> Whatever happened to the good old days when you pulled the knob and on came the... The old girl's got a universal remote control. One clicker controls everything. Makes life a lot easier for old people like you. After you figure out the complicated ass controls. Do you think you'll have time to finish building the treehouse ever? Aww. It's kind of been halfway done for two months now. Get it together, Dad. I got a lot of things going on at work right now, but as soon as I'm done, I'm on it, I promise. I got poor time management skills, but I'm on it. <laughs> Duck. Whoa! Oh no, that's not wrestling. That's less than five minutes in, man. <laughs> Something you should know about for another ten to thirty years. Ten <laughs> for you, thirty for you. <laughs> well, you know, by the time they hit fourth grade, they got the Discovery Channel, don't they? We ain't nothing but mammals. Well, some of us cannibals who cut other people open like antelopes. I'll see you tonight at the swim meet. Swim meet, yeah, I'll be there. Okay. All right, I love you, Michael. Forever and ever, babe. Aww. Mr. Newman! Kevin O'Doyle, yeah, always a pleasure. What kind of stereo you got in that blue piece of shit? <laughs> My father's stereo is a boat. Your father's stereo blows? That's too bad. Oh. I wonder if Bose paid for that one or if that was just a stray because of the joke. <laughs> Brands have become a lot more savvy with comedy, you know, in the past 10, 20 years. Stuck in traffic for an hour and a half. When's the meeting? It started already. Oh no. Can I go to the bathroom? Go to the bathroom. I told you, you don't have to ask me. Jeez. <laughs> oh, so Manhattan will allow us to Whoa! Pass. Michael. Hassle in the Hoff. Moron in a red Lamborghini parked in my spot, so. Prince Habibu drive red Lamborghini. Oh my god. Is that Rob Schneider in a makeup? Prince Habibu. Habibu. Hab Habibu, I thought I said that. <clears throat> when Mr. Amer explained to me the type of man you are, <laughs> who prides himself on originality. <laughs> 
a disruptor, yes. I present to you your restaurant. Where is where is bar? Here's the bar. Now the waterfall. <laughs> he is an architect, okay. Big bar longer. Okay. Oh boy. Cut into the atrium a little bit. No, atrium. Just make bar longer for Prince Habibu. Oh, <laughs> man of very particular taste. Water's gotta go someplace, Michael. Let's just take out the atrium and run with that. Whoa! This is simply awesome. <laughs> So you want me to design you an Arabian hoochie house? How dare you compare Prince Habibu's Bikini Hut restaurant to this hoochie house? <laughs> Bikini Hut restaurant. Prince Habibu's Mojo Dojo Casa house. Prince Habibu. 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 No. Prince Habibu's not chewing gum. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are the ethics of that scene? <laughs> See that uh, parking garage over there on 56? I built that with my bare hands. Wants to knock it down and build a luxury hotel. You got the commission? Not yet. I just need someone to come up with a design proposal. <laughs> Intrigue. It's <laughs> an interesting cut to that shot. <laughs> Intrigued. I'm 4th of July with the kids this week, and right when I get back, I'm all over it. I'll put Schwartzen on it. No, no, absolutely not. Nick Schwartzen? Can't it just wait three days? Michael, these guys are Japanese. They can't wait for their fish to cook. <laughs> That's why we have sushi. Impatience. See you later for drinks at happy hour with Prince Abu Dhabi. Mm. My son has a swim meet tonight that I have to get to. Uh, it's one of these. Go be with your kids, Christopher Robin. Life is more than just business corp all the time. And I play! <laughs> they play the offspring <laughs> for like a big band version. That's great. Great! You're not my dad. Oh no. As far as you know. What? <laughs> 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 that was a great delivery from that kid. Oh, oh what do you have to do? Winkler! You just got here, Dad. I saw you. I, mean, I just got here. I, why are you saying that? I was I saw you. You jumped in over there, you swam to here. Then so what stroke was he doing, Dad? He was doing the shut up. The shut up. Good thing is, Daddy was here to see you finish. He didn't see me finish. He was hanging out with Pink Boo for some reason. Yeah, what was that about? <laughs> Kid was drowning. I'm gonna let him drown. <laughs> he goes drowning in my. Shot Aston too. Bill Hurley, Ben Swimfoot, you must be Dad. Michael, Speedo. Oh. Michael Norman, sorry. <laughs> Don't you lose that Speedo, Samwise Gamgee. Just remember, right arm out, head turns left. Left arm out? Head turns right. I just look right at the end. You mastered that. With your power, people are going to think you're half a dolphin out there. Really? Yeah. He did have a suave kind of charm, that Sean Astin. <laughs> oh. It's not a race. It's a second one in five minutes. Give me some of them sprinks, boy. Sprinkle top tier yogurt ice cream topping. Everything Michael's been doing lately is very unhealthy for him. He's gonna kill himself. Oh no. He's just working himself into the ground. Whoa! <laughs> Jesus! I'm scared to cry about him. Me too. Dad, how much longer are you gonna live? <laughs> I'm gonna live for 200 years. Is that long enough for you and me? Promise. I promise. Swear. Come here. I would love if this movie turns into being about that. How can I live for 200 years? Show some respect, you pieces of shit! Go home and watch VH1, old man! Yeah. Go home and watch VH1. What an insult, what a burn. What am I holding? Nope. A quarter. Nah. Grandma does not let me eat ice cream because of my diabetes. Oh no. She says nothing, however, about a tasty quarter. Ha <laughs> ha About some delicious magic. Right. Whoa! Please, count to three, because it tastes terrible. One, One two, two. Three. Ho! Oh. How would you do that, Grandpa? A good no. magician never reveals his secret. Of course not. Your daddy has wanted to know how I've done that trick since he was your age. Ooh. Isn't that true, son? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, in a minute. Michael, who are you talking to? I'm talking to my boss, ma. Take it easy. Even he's got ice cream. It's gonna be soup now, dude. Comment below. What's your favorite ice cream and or yogurt topping? The goat of all accoutrement. Leave it down below. You done? Can we relax now? Sorry. Oh my god! Every time! Are you dead? <laughs> oh shit! Now you better run! Whoa! I hate that man! <laughs> that jump was kind of crazy. Did he do that? Reach for the sky, Pocahontas! No, back to Pocahontas. Oh. Pocahontas is out We can paint with all the colors of the wind tomorrow. I have an idea for a Pocahontas. I feel like that's one movie you could reboot live action. You'd have to change some shit, but 
It could work. Besides, all the woodland creatures will laugh at you if you collapse. You want to put out the tent this weekend? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. We had to postpone the camping trip. No, we have to postpone grown-ups too? It's due Tuesday. If I don't finish the designs, I'm off it, so. But the kids have been talking about camping with you all year. It's just every choice I make, everything I do, I disappoint somebody. <laughs> oh, I feel that. Maybe make sure you don't keep disappointing the wrong people. Ha <laughs> ha, also fair. I'm working my ass off so my family can have a better life than I ever dreamed of having when I was a kid. The only way for that to happen is for me to watch this stinking show. So relax, son. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, are you kidding me? We you give me a break one time? Uh. The O'Doyle's got a stinking universal remote control. We're going to have one too. <laughs> so it's, it's an interesting way they have thread that particular, you know, piece of the plot into this. this feels very tangential, but also charmingly so. <laughs> Like, it reminds me of all the gadgets and gremlins. Oh, no, 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 no. But if that didn't actually have much sense beyond just being there in the first place. <laughs> Bad Bath and Beyond it is. All of a sudden, I just want to go to Bed Bath and get some Wendy's fries. You guys got any universal remote controls in there? For a shower curtain or a bath mat? <laughs> Or maybe for a blanket? You got a remote for a blanket? I'm sorry, dude. I don't even work here. I'm just waiting for my friend. Wow. Uh, actually, yes. I don't have any friends. Will you be my friend? <laughs> what the hell is happening? What an, like, Nick Swartzen has had such an odd career, I feel like. But, he, you know, Adam Sandler looks out for his buds. <sighs> so tired of my life. Oh, I'm calling it there. He fell asleep. This is all a dream. <laughs> don't even get me started on that beyond section. <laughs> Bed Bath must have paid for this too, but this is, but I do love that this is the choice. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Be mine. Sorry to sneak up on you. Just, you guys got a universal remote control back here? Go do the Fat Boy Slim dance. Go do Weapon of Choice. You're looking for a universal remote control? Yeah, just one device to do it all for me. Make my life a little easier, quicker, not so damn complicated. It's like the thesis statement of the future. I'm going to show you a remote we just got in that's probably the most advanced piece of technology we have in this place. Whoa. Sounds sweet. It is sweet. The latest, <laughs> greatest universal remote. Not even on the market yet. Morty. Got this crazy new remote, Morty. We got to watch a lot of TV. We got we to gotta flip all the channels. All, all the channels, Morty. Come in the back with me. Okay. Sorry, his name tags is Morty. <laughs> it's either that or a bad Chris Walken impression. What about the Rocky Old World? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> I gotta be honest with you, this place looks bigger from the outside. <laughs> Just kidding. Bed, bath, and TARDIS. Really new stuff. <laughs> I love the Beyond section. I think maybe they're in the middle. <laughs> He's got great mannerisms in this. Sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. With the box. Does it come with directions? Not necessary. <laughs> Point. Yeah, he's, he's always got the dance in him. How much is this thing? Because uh, I ain't exactly thirsting how, you know? It's not in the barcode system. <laughs> the barcode system. I'm going to have to just give it to you. <laughs> you want me to take my shirt off for you or something? Because I don't play for that team. No, just drop it. Why are you doing this then? Good guys need a break every once in a while. Okay. You're like the T. You're like Don Knotts in Pleasantville right now. Why don't you take this remote instead? Got a little more oomph in it. Only one thing you need to know. Mm -hmm. This item is not returnable. Why would I want to return something I got for free? Yeah. <laughs> That's a fair point. As they exit the warehouse from Indiana Jones. <coughs> Blah. Get that scissor. Sipping on some lean. Twinkie, you don't need it. You don't need it, man. You do need a yodel, though. Pfft. You do need to 
Name each of the reputable brands under the Twinkie umbrella. <laughs> hey. Look at me turning my own TV on. I'm a freaking whiz kid. I guess it's supposed to speak to his disorganization. Is he just neurodivergent? Yeah, can I ask you something? I mean, after you do all this work and become a big player at your company, do you really think you're going to have any more time for us, or are things just going to get even more out of control? Wait, that is boy. the fairest question. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is huh? hire a bunch of idiots just like me to do all my work, so then you, me, and the kids can do whatever the hell we want. You just got to give me some time. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Just saying. Give me some support. Sure. Go to sleep. Just think about it, Michael. Oh. Hey, 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 keep it down, dude. Everybody's sleeping. Ah, uh, sums up with that remote. You gotta poop again? Why don't you do the humpy pumpy on the duck, okay? Ugh. Will you just hold it in for five minutes and keep the freaking volume down? Oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> I love that he instinctually grabbed that and went for the volume. <laughs> that remote does look a little like a pleasure wand, I'm just gonna say it. When you combine mass quantities of cough syrup with yodels, you get acid. <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Let's go with that theory. Hey, you said you gotta go. Go already, man. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. Sniffy long droppings today. <laughs> Sniffy, I'll, I'll give it to you. Sniffy long droppings is, is a good one. Oh, <laughs> oh that sound effect. <laughs> Jesus. Wah! Of all the dogs I've ever met, I think I've seen one hump something. <laughs> I've met a lot of dogs in my life. In the short run, plastic surgery is a hassle, but hey, Jennifer Coolidge too. Face and a body that's gonna get me to places where I want to be. Sure, it's gonna get you to the White Lotus. I just think you know they're too Slavic. Oh my God. Morning, Michael. You're looking very crappy today. <laughs> You're looking very Slavic. <gasps> Oh no, don't say that. You're just jealous. Because Don and I are going to the gym. All the guys are going to be hitting on us. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard the ooh, ooh in a long time. I love you. Oh my God, I want that so bad. A husband that I can kiss and love and, and give juice to. Oh, you got the juice. You've already cheated on three different husbands with their brothers. You've given Don't. enough juice to everybody. Next time you fall in love, marry their brother instead. All of my husbands, mm. all of them have emotionally abandoned me. That is a drip though, that jumpsuit. I had a rabbit named Peppa, and the rabbit abandoned me too! You abandoned the rabbit! Oh no. Oh no, you're great. Picture in picture! Oh my god. The problem is there will be contacts or brain implants to let you do this later on. <laughs> Good robo dog. And you can bark in over six different languages. <laughs> yeah, it's much cooler than your stupid human dog. Aww. See, Kevin's new robot Lay off Sundance. Yeah, whatever the yeah, dog's very name. nice. Very nice? Very nice! It's worth more than your car. Wow! Not anymore, it ain't. Okay, now that, that kid's dad's gonna come beat the shit out of you. <laughs> this is some sort of reality show. Are you the host? Where are the cameras? Whoa! All right, America! Have you- <laughs> His glasses look like Ichabod Crane in Sleepy Hollow. I wanted a universal remote control. That remote controls your universe. <laughs> Just hit menu. On the remote? No, the menu with the red lobster. Yes, on the remote. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of Red Lobster shout-outs in Adam Sandler movies, too. Wow! Welcome to the construct! What is this? Your life menu. My life as a commentary? Yes, let's go! Who's on it? Click it. Click it. Like the title! This is last Tuesday. Michael was eagerly awaiting the arrival <laughs> of his lunch order. <laughs> Who's that, James Earl Yeah, Jones? I was gonna say. James Earl <laughs> Recognize that voice instantly. Alice had brought him a cheeseburger instead of a hamburger as he requested. <gasps> it's from a totally different part of Germany. It was either going to be James Earl Jones or Sam or uh, uh, 
Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Sam Jackson would be fun, but you no. <laughs> hey, can how? Hey, psychedelic. Where are we? Oh, good. Hey, this is a <laughs> oh my God! You are literally within your mind palace spank bank. They're making you like bunny rabbit. Oh, you can access this. I can't see. What happened? Are <laughs> you before time? <laughs> Feels good on my feet. <laughs> Check it out. You hit the fast forward button. I believe we're oh. sometime at your conception. Okay, wow! Very oh my God! <laughs> it's a girl. I have no idea what we're gonna do with that scene when it comes to YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, it might be a boy. What do you mean, might be? What is that? Wait a minute. Maybe that's a penis. That's a. That's my. Can I see that? Uh. That's a tiny schmeckle. Yeah. Uh. Think of a time and a place. Hit rewind, and you're there. Um. Hmm. Huh? Place. Ooh. All right, we're gonna have a lot of long lenses, long takes. Everything's gonna feel a little docu style. Michael, dinner's almost ready. Invite your friends if you want to. Aww. Any of you want to come by my tent for some supper? Or we could eat at my family's Winnebago and watch Three's Company. Yeah. Aww. Some camping trip. Why can't we camp in an RV like every other family? How can you get close to nature in a tin can like that? Plus, it's more fun to have to keep each other warm at night. Uh, Don't you know? Uh, no cupcakes yet, but I'm starving. You know how hungry I am? I am so hungry, I could eat this. Oh, here we go. How did he do that? It's a trick coin you buy in a magic shop. Oh, just couldn't let him know I knew that. Oh no, that's a bummer. Actually, that's gonna come back later. It's a very powerful device. <laughs> Use it with caution. Yeah. Who are you? You know who I am. God. If you have any questions, call me. No, Linda. John Ammer. What the? What? <laughs> this is a Tarantino movie now. This hotel project, it's a big fish. You reel it in for me and it's a uh, howdy, partner. <laughs> Mr. Amer, Denise just called. She's got to go to rehab again, so she can't make it to the Hamptons. Mr. Amer, if you need female Aww. companionship this weekend, my wife's friend Janine. Wow. You guys should go to the beach together. What's she like? Wow. Let's just say, uh... She will eat you up, sir. Oh my god. That, those eyebrows, that grin. Oof. It's kind of important. Okay. What? Go to the bathroom. This movie has some very interesting recurring jokes. <laughs> oh. Dude, you suck so bad. Do not hate that. Aw. Buddy, playing some catch? Actually, we're playing some drop because Ben hasn't caught one yet. You're truly your father's son. Hey! Oh! You're a regular Derek G to yourself, O'Doyle. Love you, kid. Love you too, Dad. Aww. Loving child abuse. Told your parents they should come to dinner. That sounds good. It'd be fun for them to be here for the sleepover. God, man. It's not gonna kill you to eat dinner with your family, sweetie. I know, I just gotta build an entire model tonight. Man. I get it, but also, your emotions are incredibly crushed down. <laughs> this is like raising Arizona right now. Whoa! I can skip chapters. How does this account for you? All right, let's get dinner over with. Next, next. Oh no. Alone in my basement at last. Should I do my work and become partner now? I think so. Are you fully removed from the fatigue of having lived through all those? I have so many questions. <laughs> Can you watch the gang for 10 minutes while I clean up? Can't you? I just, I got so much stuff to do here. Ugh. I'm not asking for like a whole day. You don't have to do that much. How big a deal is that? Ugh. Uh, this is gonna be bad, dude. Also, everybody wants to rule the world. I skipped the whole fight. Not every single- Oh, I skipped the whole fight. <laughs> Ouch. I can't sleep. You can't. Oh. Don't be upset, okay? How's it jerk? 
Mm-hmm. You are a jerk. <laughs> uh, I mean, you are kind of a jerk. <laughs> you got a lot of pressure on you, but you're kind of a jerk, dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, let's leave over and catch us. They ain't gonna hear us. Come on. Okay, quietly try and coax me in a way. I gotta get back to work. Can't we just... Oh, dude. It's the same stuff. Just think of last time and use that. Get into it, man. Lose yourself in the moment. This time you can be Sundance and I'll be the duck. Yeah? But you gotta massage me first. I love giving massages. You should, dog. (laughs) Come on. Massaging away here. No. No. You need a therapy remote, dude. (laughs) Wow. Whoa! We did it? Well, you did. Oh, dude, come. Yeah, I'll get you next time. Thanks. Why have the hottest people in the world be your wife if this is how you're gonna behave, man? So we go for tomorrow? You said we could go to lunch tomorrow and pick out your dad's birthday gift. Of course, I, I said so, so I'll be there. Need another massage right now? Don't go away. Okay. No. Yeah, can I talk to you for a minute? Isn't Michael Newman like a new wave musician or something? No, that's Gary Newman. Hello, my- Whoa! Where'd you come from? I <laughs> don't want to know. <laughs> His delivery throughout this is like peak walking, but it's 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 poetry. It's like a dance. You must have been on autopilot. That's what happens to you when you fast forward. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you. Oh, sure, good. He's here for me. The remote lets your mind skip around, but your body actually stays put for all the boring stuff. Honey, we should go to lunch tomorrow and pick out your dad's birthday gift. Sounds good. Ugh. I'm having conversations on autopilot then. You're not going to be the life of the party, but yes. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Your wife. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Perfect face, tight, rocking body. <laughs> I wish Christopher Walken say that about me. She fell for a schlub like you. <laughs> Sometimes it's better to keep certain memories just in your head. So I've learned, Morty. Good night. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know which I would have preferred. <laughs> Like st- a bunch of stereotypically hot Adam Sandler, you know, partner girls, or you know what we got here. <laughs> it's Monday already. See, <laughs> see. Are you kidding me? No more phlegm. I skipped what? an entire cold. What? I don't remember doing any work this weekend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's this gonna do to you? No, sweetie, there's no hot water. I gotta take a shower. Well, you're gonna freeze your bumblebee off. <laughs> Boil some some water on the stove. Don't worry, dude, you're gonna get that, like, anti-inflammatory... Look at me! Oh, showered and dressed and looking sexy. Oh, boy. You're gonna have to work late again tonight. Unfortunately, yes. Is there anything we can do to help? Well, I'm gonna be partner soon, and I'm gonna need a lot of new building design, so if you guys have any cool ideas, why don't you draw them up for me? Aww. They're going to de- design some cool, imaginative building they're going to be building by the very end of the movie. Sure, everyone's watching. Hey! hey. <laughs> everyone's looking at you. No, don't mute Sergeant Jeffords. Traffic, traffic. No more traffic. No, Terry. Yeah. You look a little pale there, pal. Let me fix that. (laughs) Oh, no. You know, you're all yellow from the scurvy. Now you're just in a Michael Bay movie now. Don't get the Hulk angry. (laughs) That's it. Check out Julio Iglesias. (laughs) Julio Iglesias. Wait a minute. Refresh me, chat. Comments. It's actually pretty good, man. Where'd you find the time to get a tan? Uh, I guess I can do it all, sir. You can do it all. Wow. It's sexual harassment speech day. Speech day. Anyone can be a victim oh, of no. sexual harassment. A woman, a man. What is going to happen here? You see, what is... We don't slut shape here. Mike the day I said. You want a promotion? Break out the lotion. Hilarious. Sexual harassment, if you ask me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Something public bathroom. Oigan esto. Ma Miguel. No, proceda. Usted realmente es el profesor fabuloso. Oh, did they get like, I know there are like famous voice actors in various parts of the world. So did they get like Adam Sandler and Hasselhoff's like voiceovers for Spanish language to do that? It's true. 
is the greatest of all time. Okay. The GOAT. And me, you can always count on Matsui. Oh, Matsui. Well, if you guys love Ichiro and Matsui so much, let's order them both. Hey. See you guys in a bit. Ichiro and Matsui are baseball players. Yes. Oh, yeah, you can translate. These morons are so boring, they make me want to take a sword and chop my own wow hotel design I'd like to rip it up oh, yeah. i think that egghead watched a bad documentary on asian architecture uh-oh the lobby let's build more rooms and maximize profits eat as fast as you can then we can get out of here and do jello shots at america's greatest cultural <laughs> achievement tgi friday tgi fridays <laughs> i realize this is not what you're all about let's just throw it out all right start from scratch the river in the lobby idea what an egghead move forget all the niceties and maximize our revenue that's what it's all about anyway oh now you're speaking our everyone's language that way we can get the hell out of this dump go to a tgi fridays and do some jello shots till this guy pukes up a lung <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Smooth sailing from here on out. Oh, I got your presents. What is it? What is it? Well, if you bring your tushies downstairs, we'll find out. Oh, my goodness. It's almost charming, the, the grand degree of branded references and, and product placed, you know, props and things there are. It's just part of an Adam Sandler movie to me now. But I'm Come and so get him, huh? A real huff bike. Ouch. Ride it through their living room. Wreck their carpets and scribble on their walls. Oh, my God. It's yeah, beautiful. yeah, I heard. Aww. Aww. What are we celebrating? Eh. We're healthy. We got a great family. Are we healthy? I'm Amory's newest partner. You're going to have like a heart attack with all those cakes that you eat. That's incredible. I knew it was going to be a great day today. I heard our song on the radio this morning. Oh. The song that was playing during our first kiss. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Of course I know our song. Our song is... <laughs> oh. Wow. Uh, I remember this place. Oh. Wolverine's goofy cousin. It's kind of a nice look, though. I like it. Oh, my goodness. Look at you. You're out of his league, aren't you? Look at those earrings, yo. First kiss time. Oh. What's going to happen? You got an answer to that? Oh. And I love how the song just kind of floats in. All she's thinking about is I am not kissing that beard. Oh. I'm such a fool for you. The cranberries was playing during our first juicy kiss. And my and God, you look beautiful in that pink sweater you're wearing. Aww. Oh, you really knocked one out of the park last night, didn't you? Hey, you were great, too. All you got to do now is draw up the construction plans if Watsuhita commits to the major bulk of the funds. Looking at my new partner. Oh. I thought I was already your partner. Whoa, cowboy. Yeah, the... I said land the Watsuhita account, you'll get promoted. I didn't mean right this second. Ouch. To do these documents, it's gonna take me months. And you better get started. Oh. <laughs> wow, I just got a big headache. <laughs> I hung out with your friend Jenny this weekend. I hope she's doing your brother right now, you big headed buffoon. Oh my god, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Wow, that last one came out. That last one came out in your britches, dude. No. What is this? Anyway, the sooner you get it back to <laughs> partner rise, I oh. taste shit. Oh. <laughs> ah. Consider the consequences of the thing you're thinking about doing. What are you saying? I shouldn't do it? It's your life. What you do with the remote of decision, Michael. Oh. We're talking a couple of months here. I fast forward through it, what am I gonna miss? Uh, 30 arguments and a haircut? <laughs> Remember the leprechaun. Oh. One from the cereal ad. Lucky never gets his lucky charms. They're magically delicious, that guy. Kids are always messing with them. I was chasing the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but when it gets there, it's just cornflakes. <laughs> and marshmallows. You don't understand the metaphor? I won't do it, all right? 
Oh, boy. Nah, you still don't understand the metaphor, though. Dad? Yeah. We have some designs for you. Maybe they'll help you finish quicker. All right, you want me to look at it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Ceilings too high, the hallways too narrow. Oh. Stairway placement makes no sense at all. What the hell's this room made of? Pizza. Well, it's yes. Stupid. No! I want a pizza room. He's seven years old. If he wants a playroom made of pizza, then why not? Maybe he's got to grow up sometime and get the hell off Fantasy Island. The plane! The plane! Hamer didn't make your partner today. Honey, I'm so sorry. She's the most understanding person. Scored me to my promotion. Fast forward to the promotion. The greatest partner I could ever dream of. Thank you, guys. Oh. You guys have been dating a couple of months now? That's pretty huge for this one. <laughs> Aww. No, the first few months were easy. It was the one year hump that was the tough part. Oh, yeah. Hey, how's it doing for you and Donna? What do you mean? You know what, sweetie? It's none of our business. Let's let Michael bask in his glory. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you knew this was coming. No, 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 I want to. I want to. It's I'm, I'm on autopilot. I'm on autopilot. You're more like auto zombie. Yeah. What do you want from me? Th this is what happens. Oh my god, he's gonna answer his phone. What the heck happened? I didn't even touch the remote. Great, you're gonna stop watching TV at dinner now. Mm. I'm not gonna work tonight. We're gonna watch Dragon Tales together. What do you say? Dragon Tales is for babies, Dad. I want to watch CSI. <laughs> but which CSI? It's like. Oh, oh. Whoa, hey! You better destroy that dog and get your Twinkie back. Give me my Twinkie! Get back here, you freaking gremlin! Ah, uh, Gremlins! Great movie. We're Sundance. Don't mention Sundance. The kids just stop crying. Oh. He died. No. Oh no! <laughs> Daddy held it in so long. <laughs> He's finally letting himself feel it. <laughs> he tried to hold my leg and I didn't let him and I should have and I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, let it out. Do you, do you still love me? I don't know. To stay with me. Oh my god, it didn't take the duck long to get over Sunday. <laughs> Blah. Deviant, but it's kind of turning me on. Oh my. <laughs> No, 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 oh my God. <laughs> no, no, it's not my fault. It jumped on its own or I didn't oh, no. hit the button. Oh, not even close. Oh no, oh no. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> thing is broken it's just it's fast forwarding on its own now it's not a malfunction it's a feature using its memory to execute your preferences advanced piece of equipment like tivo <laughs> sure oh it's just gonna do it on its own now pretty much no more showering no more traffic no more arguing no more sickness it's bad oh yeah deactivating my service oh, I quit, I quit. he said you can't return it no. Whoa. <laughs> ah, nice. Is this a stick up or are you just happy? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This item is non returnable. Sure. How do I get it to stop fast forwarding? You gotta, you gotta, can you like break through it? You want to shower first? No, I can't shower because then I'll fast forward. And if I fast forward, who knows how long I'll fast forward for. Let me just, uh, how's this? I'm going to rough it today. Uh. And we can't argue because this is off I'll go. So I just know there is a problem. I tried to get rid of the problem last night and it almost ended up in my ass. So, whoa, I can't give you a kiss because if I give you a kiss, it might lead to something else. And then zip, another three minutes goes by laying there disappointed. And I'm laying there like an idiot smiling. So I. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah, a pretty solid soundtrack on this movie, man. And we're in New York. It's the perfect place for the strokes. 
Your first day as a partner, you come to work in a frickin' bathrobe? I just feel we should stop wasting our energy on corporate brown-nosing and worrying who's got the better suit, Armani, <laughs> Calvin Klein, who cares? Excel White! But God damn it, you're right. Of course you are. <laughs> There's something, or actually someone, I'd like to talk to you about. Janine. No. Oh. Janine and I have decided to drop out of the rat race, slow down, and move to Morocco. Wow. Eric Lamensoff will assume my day-to-day -day responsibilities, and I'd like you to take his job. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if one day you ended up being our CEO. If you could just get your shit together. Happen, but... No! No, no, no! I don't want a promotion! No! Oh. Michael, you have a phone call. <laughs> wow. Where'd that big guy? Wow. You told me you wanted to be CEO. Eric Lamensoff? Killed himself. Oh! <laughs> no. I mean, you do gotta do something about your diet, man. I love sweets as much as the next person, but... Things good. Oh, yeah! There is some CG and some makeup and possibly a whole different body double <laughs> happening here. Oh my god, I'm a fat guy! Look at me. Okay. Oh no. Not the sounds. Not the squirmy jiggle sounds. This is 10, 10 wins news, February 5th, 2017. <laughs> Things don't click. Oh my. Can I help you? Hey! Whoa! Jonah Hill. Look how big you got. You're enormous. Ouch. Maybe if you would take me like to Pilates like you said you would, people wouldn't think I was Rosie O'Donnell. Ouch. It is so embarrassing. Whoa. Now you get your ass upstairs, you put some normal clothes on. Why are you so mean to me? Get them on! Just let her be chicks from Arcaden. Oh, you should look at I'm so scared. Knock, knock, gang. Hey. Uh oh, no, Sean Astin! Oh, I forgot about Sean Astin. He had to come back. You cheating on me? With Johnny G string over here? Uh, I thought we were past all that. No, no, no. We're past this all this. Oh. Just that you don't mess with another man. All right. You don't mess with us. Yeah. You stick it up for him? Go away. No, no. Go away. No, no. I hate oh you. Oh, my God. This is a nightmare. And you never, ever finished it. That's right, the treehouse. Ten years, you're not finished yet? Marty! <laughs> you did this to yourself, Michael. No. You did this to yourself, Michael. The remote goes by your behavior. Every time you had a conflict between work and home, work won. Yeah. You can't change what already happened, but you're still a young man. You could win, Donna back. So that's what I'll do. Wow. Now, ooh, yeah, yeah. please just read my note. I hate you! I hate you! Oh. <laughs> yeah. Michael, you awake? Michael, honey. Oh. Where'd all my fat go? Is he an old man? I mean, he doesn't look that old. And a fuzzy dog push me over. <laughs> oh, Shaggy the Miracle Dog? Yeah, if he hadn't knocked you on your noggin, you wouldn't have had the CAT scan that found the cancer before it spread too far. Wow. You had cancer. You were the only person in the world to gain weight during chemo. That's probably what caused your heart attack. What? What? Since the head injury, you haven't been healthy a full day. When exactly did I hurt my head? <laughs> Six years ago? Six more sure. years? No, no, it skipped all my sickness. <sighs> Bill's waiting for me downstairs. Bill! Aww. Bill's my husband. Please learn to accept that. I really have to go. Jeez. Husbando. Dad, hey, how you feeling? Whoa. My old office. What, what are we doing here? The architect. How did this happen? Where's your pizza room? Oh, wait. That's a lot. Whoa, we were. Blondie. Chesty. What? <laughs> <laughs> check, check, and check. Oh, that's your daughter, Samantha. Of course it is. Always take care of her and make sure nobody touches her. Make sure that her emotional needs are met and that she's cared for. <laughs> I'd like to spend more time together. All of us. Yeah. Take you out for ice cream. How's that? You, Samantha, Grandpa, Grandma. Oh. 
Here you go, Pop. Drink this. All right, All right. drink some water. A grandma and grandpa gone? Grandpa died, Dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Where was I? You crying? What happened? Oh. You know, he just got old. That's life. Uh. Uh. Oh, man, I gotta go. Hey, oh, hang on. Oh. Susie, push my next meeting. Hold on, do your meeting. It's fine. Why I'm are just you, dizzy. Why are you I'm dizzy thinking. from the operation. All You're right. gonna make me cry, Dad. Oh. Yeah. It won't take you there. Take me where? To the moment he died. You weren't there. Oh. Can you take me to the last time I saw him, please? Oh boy. Would you mind looking at my uh my shopping mall design again? If you check this out. It's got a pizza room. Let me do my email. Yeah, you're right, Dad. Um, he ain't right. You're a schmuck. Better. Surprise. Whoa. They've had him in younger and older makeup this movie. When did you get so handsome? Oh, no. Is this going to be like an ugly moment? Your mother's playing canasta with her friends tonight. I thought, oh, what a great opportunity. You, me, and Ben should go and have a boys' night out. Can't. Ooh. You have to eat sometime. We could go, we could whistle at pretty girls. <laughs> hey, please. Don't give me that finger. <laughs> it runs in the family. I'll make you a deal. If you come. Oh, no. Yeah. I'll show you the quarter Yeah. Trick. You knew this was coming. Don't you want to know how I you do it? the stupid trick? I've always known. Can you let me do my work? Uh, yeah. I'm so sorry I parched in. Oh. See you later, Grandpa. I love you. It's got an Avengers table. Oh, dude. Oh, he's, yeah. Take your opportunity. I love you, son. Yeah. I love you too, Dad. Oh, <laughs> that's actually a really, that's a really touching moment. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. That's, that's sweet. I'm sorry about your father. Taking him wasn't something I wanted to do. Oh, what's that? What do you mean taking him? An angel, Mike. <laughs> okay, of course. I thought an angel was supposed to protect people. I'm the angel of death. Woo! Woo! That shot! Your dad, it's his time. <laughs> oh my god. We got Scrooged! Just take me to a good place. Oh, take me to the good place. Because you know you're going to the bad place right now. It's time for Mr. Newman to say a few words. Jesu Christ day. Wedding cake. Okay, where's the groom? Hi, Dad. <laughs> wow, this is terrific, buddy. Who's the lucky lady? <laughs> Very funny, Mr. Newman. <laughs> God, the drips at this party. Oh, ma. Congratulations. Let's have the best night, okay? Aww. Oh, Michael, you haven't kissed me like that since you were a little boy. You were the best, Ma. Aww. Why didn't you say it sooner? Michael, oh, you've been so generous taking care of all this in the kids' honeymoon. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Here's one you might remember from the Cranberries. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's it called? Linger? Bill, since it's our son's wedding, do you mind if I dance with my ex-husband for a minute? Yeah. That's Samantha? Yeah. Hey! Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? Put a sweater on, cover him up. Jeez. It's not used to seeing y'all growing up like this. Okay, well, if that's your way of telling me that I look pretty, then thank you. <laughs> doing all the work there. I'll raise you there, Dad. Aww. Yes, Dad. Yeah, do that stretch zoom. Oh, oh no! Okay. Your heart! Guy looks like Al Pacino almost. One dance, you pop an artery. Why did you make me waste my entire life? Nah, don't pass the buck. If the life you chose, big shot. Yeah. This is not the life I want. Looks like it is. <laughs> oh my god. She said she wouldn't leave the hospital until you woke up. Why'd you do that? You're my father. Oh. I thought Bill was your father. 
I have two fathers. It's like that book they took out of the school library. I've got two dads. And I got a uh, plane to catch. You're gonna have to leave. He needs his I, rest. Uh, Whoa. <sighs> Jesus, all right. Ugh. Ugh. <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> SpongeBob going on over there. I know. It doesn't have to end now. Ooh! Did you design this facility? Oh! Future cars! I do appreciate how much they committed to this darker, you know, ending act. Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god. The intensity of the shot. <laughs> Family. Family comes first. Family comes first. <laughs> Yeah, of course. <laughs> Till the very end. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. Forever and ever, babe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Called it. it. It was in the visual language. I can't give myself too much credit. You're in Bed Bath and Beyond, sir. Nick Schwartz. I'm back in the store. I'm young again. <laughs> I'm young. You're kind of on the back nine. No. Ouch. I'm just teeing off, baby. Uh -huh. Yeah. Happy Gilmore. Yeah. You want a friend? Yeah. Oh! Okay. <laughs> this bitter did it all in one night. Or the angel. <laughs> <laughs> sequel to That's My Boy. That's my crappy car. Dude, where's my crappy car? There he is. There he is. Oh, I just wanted to tell you I love you. I love you. I love you so much. You gotta tell me how you do the quarter trick. Please, it's driving me crazy. You should never reveal the secrets. <laughs> Come over tomorrow night and the next night and the next night and the night after that, okay? Any you live with us now. Do you mind? I am trying to concentrate. I mean, here I am staying up all night, killing myself, trying to come up with activities for a 4th of July camping trip, but you won't let me think. Oh, you want time to think? Why don't you think about the fact that you just wo <laughs> What did you just say? If you keep up this weird attitude, I won't be able to go to work for a year and have to plan 10 more vacations. Does that make you happy? Did you eat a bad yodel? <laughs> You know what? I'm gonna finish the treehouse and we're gonna sleep in it next weekend. And from now on, we're gonna exercise together and I'm not gonna wear a Speedo. Oh, no, I'm not gonna wear a Speedo. Doggy years go by very quick, so it's time to enjoy the real thing. Wow. Interesting, but, but sure. Ugh. No. You told me at the pet store was a female. What do they do on sets to 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 get dogs to do that? Uh, no, it's Fourth of July. I'm gonna celebrate with my wife. Take my time, massage her, make sure she is fully satisfied. That's the spirit, man. Ah! No. Burn it. Like I said, good guys need a break. I know you'll do the right thing this time. Oh. P.S. Your wife's rocking body still drives me crazy. Stay out of the astral plane above our bedroom. Hey, who wants to have a pillow fight? Yeah! Ah. And then HBO immediately said, Watch something else! Wow. Oh, nice. And the new Radicals needle drop for the very end. And the fun DVD menu credits. I like it. I, I'm with it. I'm, I'm about that. It's good. Oh, man. Guys, first and foremost, if you're, if you're joining me here and now and uh, you happen to be listening on Apple or Spotify, go ahead and rate this. Hopefully five stars, but, you know, whatever you feel. 
Uh, it just helps us, you know, spread these around and grow the nation reject. Um, but yeah, goodness, <laughs> I need a second. This is a fascinating experience, this, and uh, and certainly much more broad and developed than the goosebumps I saw. Sophie Monk, that's her name. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, and Rupert Gregson Williams on the score, eh? Rick Baker did the special makeup effects. Okay, not bad, not bad, interesting. Well, all right, before we go any further, uh, one thing, you know, is that this this video certainly had a great many uh, sponsors. This this movie, you know, had a lot of product placements, a lot of recognizable, recognizable brand, brand recognition, recognition, or that's that's repetitive, but you get what I mean. And uh, speaking of brand recognition, there are a couple people who made this video possible, and let's cut to them right now. Thank you to America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh, for partnering with us. It's always great to partner with people whose services you actually use because as someone like me who is always juggling a packed schedule between filming and editing, finding time for healthy eating can be a challenge. That's where HelloFresh has been a game changer for my life. With HelloFresh, I get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and delicious recipes delivered right to my doorstep so I don't have to step outside. It's revolutionized my home cooking experience, making it not just easy, but super enjoyable and affordable. Keyword, I recently tried their delicious barbecue pineapple flatbreads, and their zucchini pomodoro penne bake. Both were mouthwateringly delicious and fit perfectly with my pescatarian lifestyle. Pescatarian, <laughs> that's so fancy. And asking my friends who love meat, HelloFresh has an incredible variety. It tempts me to be a meat eater again. People I know have really recommended their lemon parsley chicken paylard, I think is how you pronounce it, and the fuego chicken fajita tacos. Regardless, HelloFresh menu has something for everyone. But of course, it's not just about the food. It's about saving time too, not having to wait in line at a grocery store, or even self-checkouts on fast enough these days. The convenience of having everything delivered pre-portioned right to your door is priceless, especially with our quick and easy meals like 15 minute recipes, spending less time in the kitchen and more time doing what I love, which is filming and editing. So here's the deal. If you want a great way to support the channel and also support, you know, having a new lifestyle, a healthy, affordable lifestyle in the year 2024, go to hellofresh.com slash rejects free and use code rejects free for free breakfast for life. You heard that right. One breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. Free breakfast for life for hellofresh.com slash rejects free use promo code rejects free try it out and let me know your favorite dishes stay healthy and let's keep enjoying those movies and shows all right reject nation let's get real for a moment running this channel is incredible but managing finances especially taxes and budgeting both for the channel and my personal life can be overwhelming that's where rocket money has been a financial lifesaver for me even before i ever partnered up with them like i said i've been very fortunate to be working with brands whose products i already use so it's a win-win for a walk but it can be a win-win for you too because there's a reason i use them rocket money Money is a personal finance app that simplifies managing money by canceling unnecessary subscriptions, lowering bills, and crafting a budget that fits your specific lifestyle. For someone like me who can easily lose track of expenses throughout every single day of the month, it's been eye-opening to see where I was overspending, stuff I don't use that I kept paying for, especially apps. Man, I was way too many apps. Rocket Money does the heavy lifting by analyzing your spending, then customizes notifications to help you stay within your budget goals. It's not just about saving money. It's about actively seeing and feeling your financial progress. It's a great feeling. They track your monthly subscriptions too. So many free trials I've signed up for that I forgot to, you know, get rid of before the free trial was done. Making it super easy to cancel the ones you don't use. A couple of clicks and you're putting money back in your pocket. I'm telling you, have you ever found hidden subscriptions or pay for services you forgot about? Because Rocket Money is a huge asset in helping to uncover those and even negotiate some of my bills down to up to like 20%. So if you're ready to take control of your finances and there's no better time than now because it is the beginning of the year, check out Rocket Money and see how much you could be saving. Stop wasting money money on things you do not use. So to help support the channel and help support your wallet, visit rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Rocket Money currently has over 5 million users and has helped save its members an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. They've helped me and I'm confident they'll do the same for you. That's rocketmoney.com slash rejects. Your bank account will thank you. All right, though, that was super fun. I got to say, you know, I mean, there there are certainly elements of Adam Sandler's humor that aren't, you know, necessarily 100 percent my flavor if I'm just going for, you know, what I'm gravitated toward. But uh, but I really enjoyed this experience. And, I, and I'd heard people say over the years that it was, you know, like a surprisingly good one or surprisingly affecting. And I can definitely see that here. This got me a little misty eyed at a couple points, especially toward the end. Um, and yeah, it's like, you know, I, I was saying earlier, this this reminds me of, of I think it was a Goosebumps or, or something. I mean, you know, like the, the idea of a remote control that controls real life is not, you know, the most crazy concept for a bunch of people to arrive at. 
that independently. But but yeah, like I, I like what this made out of that and the cautionary tale that this became and the way that it is essentially like a Scrooge story. By the end of it, you know, you're seeing the error of your way personified in the past, in the present, in the future with slightly less of, you know, the specific structure that that has. But, yeah, you have this otherworldly spirit who shows up here and there in Christopher Walken, who I really enjoyed as like sort of the, you know, the lead, not 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 lead supporting character, because obviously you have a bunch of other lead supporting characters who are more you know, who share more screen time, who are like the prominent figures in uh, the Sandler character's life. Um, but yeah, having him as this sort of main sort of, um, I don't know, this magical character existing on the periphery, popping up every now and again. Like I said, it kind of reminded me of like Don Knotts in Pleasantville, the, the TV repairman. But if he spent more time <laughs> in the movie uh, than he does in that particular film. And yeah, just like the way he brought his unique walk uh, I thought was really well pitched and attuned because obviously you get Christopher Walken when you want Christopher Walken. And in this movie, he's doing, you know, very much doing his, his walking, his, his timing, his specific. And uh, and yeah, he's doing he's leaning into his unique cadence. And I think that, yeah, with the look that they have him in, he's just this perfect, you know, um, midway point between this whimsical sort of impish figure and plausibly, you know, the the spirit of death essentially. And, uh, and I like that that's what it became. Like I do appreciate when a movie, especially a movie like this, any kind of, you know, comedy that's going for a high concept or something that does, you know, uh, uh, bring with it sort of an innate cautionary tale of some kind. Like I like when we can shift over into, you know, seriousness when it's appropriate for the story, when it's appropriate for the action. And, uh, and I thought this managed to do that, you know, obviously there are so many things and it's such an enticing concept in general. There's so many things that we would love to skip past in life. Certainly like traffic being, uh, you know, like the, the first rung of that ladder. I think everybody would be like, man, if I could just fast forward the traffic experience, like, you know, that'd be great. Uh, you know, especially when you're sitting, you're not going anywhere. Like, I like a drive, but, you know, you get what I mean. And uh, and yeah, coming in with the fun of the concept and, you know, the promise of, yeah, idealizing your life by skipping all the boring bits and getting right to the good stuff or getting right to the thing you've been anticipating. It's something that, yeah, would entice anybody, I think, or most people, but could easily go wrong and enhance enhance your worst qualities and I think that across the board they did a nice job of of that you know at first like the whole thing of getting to the remote and the fact that they have like a billion remotes around it did kind of feel like a a bit of a random plot thread to get us there like a mechanic specifically designed to get us there rather than you know a real part of the story or part of the characterization like the 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 sweets and stuff the the cakes and the twinkies like that felt more ingrained even though even still that kind of felt like a like just a I don't know it could have been anything like it, it does come back and there are elements of like oh man you know like you're really unhealthy and you got fat or you know you had heart attacks or whatever and you're like it comes I think most into focus as you know a, a real part of the you know array of things happening within the character when it turns out that yeah like his son has grown up you know to be a heavier set guy or whatever that is and and you know that it's probably because of this mostly cake and sweets based, you know, eating I mean, like it's a miracle that the sad of Sandler character and, and everyone around him doesn't have like diabetes or something just because it seems like all he eats are Twinkies. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Having these different elements kind of come together to inform you know, uh, along with the obvious of he's really dedicated to his work and he's always prioritizing that over everything else. And I thought they did a nice job of drawing that portrait as well, uh, because, you know, again, there are a lot of things that kind of recur in some of these movies or or in, you know, like business place comedy or, or movie about a guy who's consumed by work and business, you know, and who needs to, you know, take a step back and, and recognize the little things and the important things about life and, and to honor the people around him, not just, you know, the climb up the social and or 
uh, you know, economic ladder and all that stuff. And yeah, I thought they personified that nicely and they did a good job of starting out in a pretty grounded place where, yeah, this guy is a bit of a mess. He's, you know, got at least time management problems. He's, he's a bit of a, you know, he's got clutter all around and he's, you know, still holding down this high level architecture. Like, it is funny. Like, I get what people are, are pointing out when they laugh about, you know, these tropes of Adam Sandler movies in that, like, yeah, he's this schlubby kind of wise ass dude who somehow manages to have like the most gorgeous wife ever always this time Kate Beckinsale who I really liked in this too I mean I, I feel like those are characters that can fall by the wayside or you know not I mean it's not like she gets a million moments to really explore this character and you know really unpack her life but as <laughs> where this character is positioned I thought she brought a lot of just lovely presence to it and I really believed her and you've got to you know kind of immediately love this person and want to see the best for them along with the kids kids are easier because they're cute um, but yeah you got to really kind of feel for his family and you got to be able to feel for her when she's going through the different you know trials that this dude presents her kind of constantly and yeah the way that sort of all that compiles the transition into the beyond section which again like I thought that was it was fun like I, I don't think they're trying too hard to trick you like it's in the editing it's in the way the the quality of the picture changes when he rolls over on the bed and the colors are a little different the lighting's a little different he goes into the beyond section and obviously it has this heightened Again, everything's just bigger on the inside. You know, like it's clearly a bit whimsical and fantastical. And I don't think that they're really trying to there. I don't think that they're trying to sell it like it's not a dream. I think they're just counting on the fact that you'll eventually forget about that. And I kind of did, you know, like eventually they cut back and you're like, oh, OK, yeah, that's right. Um, but yeah, I thought that was a nice conceit and a good way to, again, honor the fact that this is a bit of a, it's funny. I just watched The Mask, which almost had this. There are elements of that in a, in a different way that were reminding me or hearkening toward It's a Wonderful Life. And then here. You know, I was thinking very much of of, yeah, some kind of Scrooge scenario. Um, and especially, again, because it's this guy who is there are a bunch of different ways to do this. But this takes the scope of, you know, a guy who is just dedicated to his business, to his job, to a fault. And again, that's something that I think is very relatable where people are like, I, I just I got to go hard on this because, you know, one more, one more, one more. And then we'll be able to rest. And then I'll have an assistant who can handle half this stuff. And then we will have the time. Then we will have the time later. And that's a really hard thing. And like, you know, being in an independent operation like a YouTube channel often puts you into positions like that. And, and we are lucky enough here to be in positions where we don't have to be as like, you know, immediately on top of stuff and like rushing around and like on call all the time. But there's still that, you know, that persistent, I think, across life, no matter where you work or, or you find your you know living being made, there is that hazard of, you know, worrying that it's all going to go away and that, you know, if you don't do what you're doing now, you're going to, you know, lose it all or it's going to decrease or, or uh, you know, uh, uh, flail in some way because of that. You know, I think that's a very easy place to get to. And, and the fact that you need to sacrifice and we live in a culture that incentivizes you to priority it, that, that kind of equates all of your worth and value into your job and how productive you are and, you know, how, your ability to pay for things and conduct money efficiently. You know, like it's it is the irony of like any piece of especially big scale corporate art telling you to, you know, step back, look at what's important, be with your family when this is in and of itself like a giant product that, you know, a bunch of people probably worked insane hours to make. So like there's a ton of irony in these kinds of stories or, or like uh, Christopher Robin came to mind early on in the movie. And that's another one of those where it's like, <laughs> thanks, Disney. Like, I, like it, it works in isolation. I like that movie even. But yeah, it's always that funny thing of like, OK, massive business corp who like have of this half of these characters basically are the people working in places like that who aren't taking this advice but that also are putting out a movie with this message you know it's it's kind of fun and ironic but um but yeah i, I liked the overall cast and there are like so many recognizable faces i feel like we're getting to that point this is like 2006 right so we're getting to that point past that early heyday of like you know sandler joints when he was probably what fresh off the snl cast now we're more into like well ingrained adam sandler big screen presence uh you know again we're solidifying the tropes of the adam sandler movie and i like some of those things and other of those things you know you feel the kind of the 
where in the stretch marks of time, you know, moments where you're like, oh, okay, this this hasn't maybe aged quite as well, or this sensibility maybe doesn't fly as uh, brazenly as it does, you know, in a in a time such as this, you know, that stuff doesn't fly as much now. You know, you get to the the harassment seminar. I was like, oh god, what way is this gonna go? And you know, it's relatively innocuous, but it is still kind of like different from the sensibility with which we approach those things these days. Um, and, and you know. You have like the Rachel Dratch character transitioning into being a man, uh, which thankfully the movie doesn't spend too much time on and isn't too disrespectful about, even though it is ultimately played for a joke and it it is supposed to be some kind of like, what is happening kind of thing. Um, But also it's not so much that you can't just be like, well, maybe she's maybe he's happier like this and, and we're good at that. You know, we're good with that. I don't know. Like, yeah, I don't. That's me filling in the blank more than it is the movie. So and and just the the you know barrage of like you know oh we got all these sexy assistants around and you know women be throwing themselves at Adam Sandler and 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 uh, the wife's sister is you know she's just sleeping with everybody's brother you know like there there are certain things like that that are uh, you know a bit crude and a bit maybe less socially enlightened than we like to be these days. Um, and you know, they, they are what they are. You can't change them now in the past. You can't click that remote and go back. But as far as those elements go, those elements that usually kind of turn me off, the more crude and crass and the more, not to, not to, you know, I, I don't want to s- launch a war in the comments, but you know, the humor that skews more misogynist, certainly, uh, maybe not in like a mean or malicious way, but certainly plays into those stereotypes you know, those elements are here. I don't love them, but they also didn't wreck the overall impact of the movie and the scenes that really do have their heart in a good place. And, you know, for, again, that slacker, you know, almost stoner kind of person, you know, I could see this being very touching as well. You know, this kind of speaks broad. If you can tap into it, for some of us, if you can see past the crudeness or if the crudeness is your inroad, either way, you're kind of winding up at the message at the end and and the movie giving, again, way to the more um, just thoughtful and you know, harder hitting themes. Uh, yeah, I, I liked the journey of that going from, yeah, this fun, innocuous slacker comedy. Ooh, fantasy element. We got this remote that could do everything, but then slowly it's, you know, reading your mind and, and again, enhancing and amplifying your, uh, you know, your, your core tendencies, your id almost. And, you know, in doing so, it's highlighting the way in which, yeah, like a lot of, you know, we all go on autopilot. We all want to check out of certain things. And it's basically telling you that you should be present for everything. And yeah, at the end, that culminates in good things, fun things. You know, he wants to tell his uh, parents that he loves them. He wants to spend that time with the kids and the family, you know. Um, but two, I mean, it's it's also about, yeah, you got to take the showers and sit in the traffic and have the arguments and freaking give a massage. Everybody's so averse to giving massages and and like warming things up in the bedroom. And I'm like, why, guys? Like, geez, like, again, and, and it's part of the, the the goofiness of the of the plot and all that. But I feel like, you know, I don't know. Yeah, it's it's like you're trying to fast forward through this part to get to the already, you know, the the briefest, most good part, I guess, to you. But also, uh, yeah, I don't know. (laughs) I'm just like, how did you guys like, is this always you're like, there's that whole frequent joke of like, oh, it's so short, you know, and I'm like, but was it ever long if this is your attitude anyway? uh, Yeah. And then those things slowly picking up to the point where it's like, oh, I can't stop it. The thing is anticipating uh, my thoughts and my, you know, inclinations and it knows what I want to skip. And, and, you know, life can feel that way. Like it's like time is outside your control, certainly. And that, you know, it's rocketing by and you're blinking and you're waking up, you know, many months later. And, you know, obviously not one to one you've got all your memories you know you're there every day and there's a mundanity that comes with that but it is possible like time is a tricky and a strange thing and it moves fast and slow all at once and uh and i thought this in in more subtle ways kind of spoke to that and it's this the fear the horror element that kind of sets in over time is you're like oh my god 
you know, I don't have control over this now. You know, there are lapses in my memory and I'm sort of coming to and, and you know, it's almost like you're it's almost like the story of someone disassociating. If you removed the sci fi element of, you know, the remote and all the fun stuff, like I thought it was really fun what they did with the, you know, like the construct and, and checking in on the rules and like, OK, so you're kind of in an autopilot, like a really low grade autopilot when you're fast forwarding or skipping chapters. And I mean, I guess it's lucky that you know, this guy's paths that, that he was on in autopilot basically led him to like huge, uh, you know, again, economic success. Um, but it does, it is just a, like a funny thing to me. I'm, I'm like, oh, okay, interesting. Like, you know, cause it could go so wrong in so many ways on autopilot when you're skipping ahead. Like I, I have to imagine it's like he, he thinks about what he wants and he gets there. So it's also a manifestation. Uh, but, but you know, like what if you got three years later to the point you thought you'd get your promotion and find yourself like out of the street or something, you know, but, but those are things that I wasn't really thinking about during the movie. And those are just things that, yeah, you, you can muse about within the high concept of it you know but for again a high concept comedy like this that a doesn't have to get very emotional if it doesn't want to and b doesn't have to develop the sci-fi you know doesn't have to develop the high concept doesn't have to develop the rules of the world or whatever i thought they did a fun job of paying attention to those things and you know playing with time subtly so that you know when you're further into his life you know the set designs are really different and you're in like a future hospital at the end and like the hair uh, cuts are changing and the outfits are changing and getting more, you know, sort of out there and more futurized and everything. And the makeups, too, like there are old age makeups, there are younger age makeups for some of the older actors. I thought all that stuff was nice. Uh, you know, the, the fat suits, like, again, for, for some of the more uh, progressive and inclusive uh, conversations we have, you know, developed in our culture, you know, since this came out, you know, like it's you know you're you're using that the the bigger body for a punchline which is kind of a drag but it also does factor into the story to some degree again like those are things that if you really wanted to like flesh those threads out and be like oh man like you know this again adam sandler is able to like skate through this movie having like a fine enough physique whilst also like always eating candy so like i was like if you'd done this maybe a little more gradually but you know again there's that effect of like well when he wakes up that way and it's like totally foreign you know like i i get the choices they made here if it was my movie i might have uh you know finessed them a little better or um I don't know, just done it in a way that doesn't punch down quite as hard. Um, but, you know, again, for, for the sensibility of what this is, it's not to be unexpected, really. And I thought that, yeah, the, the, the greater strokes of the movie and, you know, the message behind it and just the way that it's characterized and the ensemble they drew together was quite charming. And, yeah, by the end, like, this did transcend from being just a fun, whimsical, uh, again, sort of uh, off uh, not off the cuff, but but yeah, that sort of like um, what is I don't know what to call that demeanor, but that, you know, uh, that ribbing sort of demeanor, that sort of uh, that very um, like big brother kind of noogie demeanor where like, yeah, you know, like it, it's uh, it's busting a lot of balls and stuff like that. But I bought the, you know, actual sentimental side. And I feel like we're also kind of witnessing that transition from, you know, more broad comedy for Sandler into, you know, starting to to play with drama because, you know, when you get to the end there again like when he's uh saying when he's replaying the moment of his father saying i love you son and and you know looking at him that way and even when uh he's got the the bit later on uh or no no it's just before that with with his son but but then yeah later on when he wants you know his son not to make the mistakes that he did and and you know to go on the honeymoon instead of staying back and working on this project that's in shambles or whatever you know like those moments i bought the commitment and the emotion and all that too. And so like the sweet things that are supposed to tug at your heartstrings ultimately work. And so do the cautionary things. And I think that's I, I'm starting to see that that's kind of the magic when it's working of an Adam Sandler movie. You know, it's the heart that arises despite, you know, the more abrasive parts of the main character often's attitude. Um, sometimes it's characters around them. Like if you're watching the water boy or something like that, you know, um, Bobby Boucher is like a, he's just a very endearing and sweet character. Whereas I'm more used to seeing Adam Sandler play guys like this who are again, a bit of a wise ass and who are, you know, real ball busters and stuff like that. You know, he's a kind of a guy's guy. Uh, so yeah, yeah, like w those elements are here and sometimes they're funny uh, and 
the rest of it, you know, it, it, I don't know. It, it's it's attuned well enough that when you suspend disbelief for, you know, what we know is the Sandler verse kind of. Uh, yeah, like this is an example of a movie that I thought tied together quite nicely and that worked and that, you know, showcased a good amount of heart and a thoughtful story. I could tell, like, again, I, I, I hesitate to say that Adam Sandler, I, I hesitate to use the word mature or maturing, maturity, but it does have a more mature quality to it or it's aspiring to something more mature uh you know whilst also having like a bunch of humping dog jokes and stuff like that but you know uh again for what this is and for who it's playing to you know this uh, it's the, again the kind of comedy that i don't put at the top of my taste scale but at the same time i can tap into when it's good and when again there are you know other elements around be they good casting an interesting concept some heart uh again a little bit of you know world weariness or whatever that is and i thought this tied together very nicely into all of that while also taking time to have a a good sense of attunement with its fantasy and uh yeah i found it overall to be really fun and charming so uh those are my thoughts on click uh let me know your thoughts as well good soundtrack on this too um and yeah a lot of nice little character beats in between the the more broad and and crass elements so uh so yeah i think there's a lot for a lot of different people to grab from this and again just a great high concept jumping off point in the universal remote and all that stuff uh so yeah that's what i got for now leave me your thoughts down below stay tuned for whatever comes next leave me whatever other adam sandler joints you want uh one or any of us to check out and uh yeah we'll catch you on the next one much love for now people and uh cheers <laughs>